Okay, good. Ready? I'm ready, man. Perfect. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of AMZ Seller Real Talk. Uh, host Curtis Johnson, uh, for all, all of you who have been following uh, along, we usually have Jade Coleman here or Justin, but they're actually out of town. They decided to take two weeks off for Thanksgiving. So, uh, you know, they're one vacation a year. But uh, for your enlightenment, we have someone who we've actually worked with ourselves and we know the level of expertise that this man brings to the marketing arena. So we have with us here, Manuel Suarez. He is known as the ninja. Great to be here, Curtis. Yeah, we're very excited to have you here. It's actually good that uh, the other two guys are not here because I talk a lot and you know that about me already. So it might <laughs> end I up being too too. short. <laughs> yeah, so it, it works out well. So I'm excited to be here, Curtis. Yeah, we're very happy to have you on here. So um, just to dive right in, because I know you bring a wealth of knowledge to the marketing arena, but um, just for anyone who's not familiar with you, first off, where can they find you? Where can they follow you? And then also tell me a little bit about your background. Uh, okay, well, I am an accidental marketer. That's the way that I like to describe it because I got into the world of marketing out of a necessity to feed my family and survive. Uh, it goes back to, I mean, I don't have a background of um, nothing. Um, right. Maybe I have a background of criminality and drugs. <laughs> Uh, but when it comes to uh, education and uh, training and certificates, I've got nothing on my walls. Um, I just survived in life. I figured out how to put enough food on my plates. And uh, along the way, I, um, I was looking for opportunities. Many things happened uh, that uh, led me to where I'm at today. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's one of those things that uh, people talk about overnight success and overnight stories. It's been a project in, in the works for a long time. Uh, I think my story, to summarize it, uh, begins in 2008. I Good year to have any stories. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it, it, you know, I always joke about, I believe, Curtis, that I seriously mean it, that I was the last person to buy a real estate property in the United States real estate market in that environment. Oof. And uh, I got to the United States. I was in Mexico for years. I met my wife. We got married. Uh, she got pregnant in 2006, moved over here, and I got no career. Yeah. And I got a job uh, paying me $500 a, uh, a week, a uh, full-time job, and um, I, I got to enjoy that job a bit. And it's nothing that I felt like, oh, I'm going to get rich out of this. So I had a nine-to-five, just right. like a lot of people. And uh, for some reason, I walk into a bank, and I say to the bank, can you lend me $250,000 uh, to buy myself a property? Oh yeah, sure, what, what's your finances like? Well, I make $2,000 a month and my wife makes another 2,000 and um, oh sure, you got a down payment? N nope, no down payment, no savings, no credit, no nothing. Oh, no problem, you can go ahead and sign here. The American dream. The American dream, and that became real that moment. I bought myself a house, um, I think that same day the market uh, the, oh. the bubble burst. I mean, obviously I'm exaggerating. I, I paid the mortgage for a few months. Even at, even at that though. Yeah, but obviously Jeez. a combination of elements happened. Like I, I paid my mortgage for a few months and then I couldn't because the economy started melting yeah. and um, I lost my job and I wasn't getting any income and I had kids now, second baby about to be born. So it all fell apart right sure. there, you know, and just like for many millions of Americans, um, what do I do, right? Like I don't have a career. Um, I'm not supposed to be successful. Right. I mean, if you ask my mom, she'll still wonder if I'm trafficking with drugs or doing other things. <laughs> Uh, she's, Something tells me that's an exaggeration. I can, comfortably, I can comfortably say this, Curtis, because I know she's not gonna be listening to yeah, this, yeah, yeah. right? Um, but uh, it's something that I joke about a lot because uh, because I, I, it's a we're a family of four, okay. four, four kids, right? And I'm the youngest one. And I'm just not supposed to be successful. Sure. I am more wealthy and I'm more successful than all my siblings by a long shot. Right. Uh, and uh, they all went through, I mean, I, one of my brothers, he's a doctor, uh, molecular biology, <laughs> 10 year career. This guy's an absolute genius. I have another guy who's a computer scientist. I, I mean, these people are geniuses sure. and they're awesome. They don't get close to my success financially. Um, and uh, what I've been able to accomplish in the last decade. 
Um, and, and it's kind of strange because I'm the one that was supposed to be like uh, the, the rotten. Uh, yeah, you're the one who didn't get the degree. I didn't get the degree. I didn't go through the process. I didn't get myself educated. Right. I didn't I didn't do any of the things that I was supposed to do to be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, again, built out of necessity. Uh, so we're going to skip the several other failures that I had <laughs> skip, along the way. Skip right to success. Yeah, and then obviously mm -hmm. we're here on AMC Real Talk, right? That's right. And uh, my beginnings are as an Amazon seller. You know, I remember you telling me about this, and it's it's a really interesting yeah. little story. Without, without Amazon, I'm not where I'm at today. Right. If I didn't have Amazon, and that's something that sometimes we take for granted, but uh, companies like Amazon gave us opportunities that mm -hmm. did not exist, uh, that our ancestors never had access to. Um, you know, sometimes people tell me, um, I'm talking to a lot of Amazon sellers here, but uh, people ask me, uh, because I do a lot of content, they'll say, Manuel, should I build my own Shopify channel or uh, should I start on Amazon? And the question is, the answer is always the same, always the same. Mm -hmm. And I say, look, where are you at today? Do you already have 100 million monthly unique buyers? If you do, please go ahead and start on Shopify. Sure. If you don't, this is no no brainer. Mm -hmm. Amazon is an opportunity for you to capture the audiences that you would have only dreamed about before the world of the internet that it was something that you would generally hallucinate with. Even like entrepreneurs of old, the, the Warren Buffetts and the Steve Jobs and all these people, they could not even dream about this as they were building businesses. Oh, the world of Amazon is something unbelievable Whoa. Whoa. 10 years ago. Incredible, right? Yeah. So uh, the, the whole thing for me was like, there was a, a an aha moment for me mm -hmm. and it was an Amazon aha moment. Um, me having a confidence that I was meant to be a failure like I was confident that somehow somebody had to die for me to be wealthy. <laughs> I think I told you about that, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Uh, you know, my dad had a business and uh, you know, we had all, um, you know, I had some people that were successful and my brother being a doctor, I'm like, well, maybe somehow something's gonna fall on my plate. Right. And that's my only way out, right? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. right? But as I saw my dad getting healthier and healthier, uh, <laughs> He's a, he's a social media superstar, yeah. 70, 70 oh, years yeah. old, with doing a lot of content, and I'm like, it's not gonna happen. His hub subject is You're like, shoot, someone else is gonna have to die. I think it won't he, be my dad. He's going to outlive me, man. <laughs> he's going to outlive me. So um, I, I, there was a moment, you know, there's, as, as entrepreneurs heard, is there, there, there are moments that change everything. Yeah. And sometimes we forget about that, but it's not that there's a whole big timeline of things that happen. I, I recognize easily three to four moments in my life in the last, I'm gonna say eight years that have determined the path that I'm in yeah. and where I'm at today. One of those moments was um, uh, my wife, she's already an, a businesswoman. We had a company called Natural Slim. I, ha I had nothing to do with it. It was her and my dad that started building the, this out. We still weren't successful. She was trying, I wasn't really connected with it. This company today is a $50 million a year company. But back then, uh, it was nothing. It sure. was just a dream, all right? Um, but uh, my brother-in-law, who you know, Jorge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he came to us and he said, look, there's this thing called Amazon Prime and uh, you can list your own products and ship them to Amazon and Amazon's gonna take care of the shipping. And, and you probably were like, what? what are you on? What? Are you kidding? This is Amazon. <laughs> it's Amazon Prime. They're the ones selling the products, right? Uh, so it was a big, wake up moment yeah. and I, I couldn't stop thinking about it from that point on and it became like it just you know Curtis there's one thing about entrepreneurship that uh, sometimes people forget about and what really makes a good entrepreneur and differentiates them from a bad one it's utilization of common sense mm. the ability to look at something and understand that makes sense right that looks like it has a lot of legs and it can go up that seems like something that we should leverage. Like for example, I'm a social media marketer. Yeah. I'm known in the world of social media as a Facebook marketing ninja. Mm -hmm. I have a podcast called the Facebook Marketing Ninja Podcast. I looked at Facebook, I created this podcast back in 2016, I believe by now. Um, I looked at the world and I saw that everybody was using it and I saw Instagram and I saw the explosion and I went to a dinner and everybody was on it and I looked at the statistics and I saw 50% of the time spent on mobile was being spent on these two platforms. Right. And it just became a common sense point in which I'm like, whoa, wait a second. I'm gonna brand myself the Facebook Ninja because mm -hmm. it looks like there's a big wave coming 
and I better position myself in front of it. Right. The same thing was with Amazon. It's just, wow, there's a wave coming. So I just got all over that and uh, I, I didn't stop from there. I mean, there's a couple of businesses that uh, I, I started with. Uh, one of them was Natural Slim. I put it uh, on the Amazon platform. Mm -hmm. It took off. Again, like I said, it's a $50 million a year corpor corporation right now. COVID has been great for the business, horrible yeah. for the world. Right. <laughs> There are definitely a couple businesses that have seen growth, and I can imagine with what you guys are doing with Natural Sun, that that's we've done really right well. There. We've done really well, but a lot of e-commerce. I mean, you've seen it yeah, already. Yeah, like generally, I, I've seen a bunch of other brands that are not health-related absolutely skyrocket. Um, yeah, health, any kind of home fitness. Oh my goodness, home fitness is a big deal. But hey, you would be surprised that brands are exploding. You know that I have a lot of data, Curtis. Yeah, I, you I, do, and that's why we wanted to have you on because. Yeah. I manage a lot of different brands and a lot of different uh, types of industries and companies and niches. Mm -hmm. And we've seen all kinds of things explode. I mean, I have a toy business that sells, uh, again, we're not here to get political, all right? right. Um, and, uh, but I do have a, a client that pays me for my services and he sells Trump figures, Trump pens, uh, birthday cards, uh, he sells poop emojis and things like that. Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't, it. it's, it's almost like, okay, let's step outside the box for a second and realize whether you're Trump or Biden doesn't matter. There's clearly 70 million people who voted for both sides. So you've obviously got a market there. People that are listening, 50, 50 chance that you guys are on one of those one sides. One or the other. Yeah. <laughs> or you're the other half of the country that didn't vote, but either way, right. you know, you've still got, it's, it's a market. A market is a market. Yeah. It's that simple. Is it really half of the country that didn't vote Curtis? Because uh, we have 300 million people, right? But how about all the children? <laughs> how about all the yeah, children? You're right, you're right, you're right. I think we probably got like 70% of the, of the it country. It was definitely vote. the largest turnout in any election. It was so intense. It was, it, it's a very, you know, it's part of the country you vote. Right. Anyways, uh, the point is that it's not only about health brands or fitness brands or like brands that are like about, you know, making somebody do better or feel better in this environment. Mm -hmm. It's it's about e-commerce, yeah. period. It's about the internet. That's it. End of story. Yeah. It's been an acceleration. It's like, guys, it's like what I've been telling people all over the place. Like, look, it's been uh, it's been going on for a long time already, right? The internet has been evolving for a solid, what, Jeez. 25 20 years? 20 or 20, 30 years, yeah. Well, well it goes back to 1995, Windows 95, right? It's, right? So we're looking at a solid 25 years of evolution of the internet, right? and it's been aggressively growing, not slowly, aggressively, but it still had a lot of time until it really took over the world. Right. It still had another 20 years. I mean, still retail was very solid. Physical locations were very solid. Mm -hmm. Malls were still packed. We still had a lot of things traditionally that people are not gonna let go. Right. COVID has taken everything away. Just sliced it at the knees. Literally a decade yeah. has been shaved off of the time of the internet acceleration. Well, and you can see that just by looking at Amazon stock. Oh my God, that's- It's stock. unbelievable. You it's and unbelievable. I should have just put all our money on it and if we, we knew, wouldn't have to work. <laughs> this Damn. is probably the most used statement ever. If we knew today, six months ago, psh, we'd be on a beach in Tahiti instead of doing this podcast. I know. I so mean, you're welcome that we didn't buy Amazon stock because now we get Manuel Suarez. We can give you value here, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's like uh, like they say, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Man. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I, I invested stock on Facebook when, and I put money on it, all right? Uh, when it was a $13 stock that everybody said it was going to die and he was not gonna be able to figure out mobile advertising and it was all super overblown. And imagine that, I mean, if you put, uh, if you put $10,000 in that, you know how much money you will have? Just make the just math, all right? It's obscene, it's <laughs> obscene. Right. Okay, so then your first business, you jumped in, you did get your feet wet in Amazon. You, you helped take your father's brand, a number of other very successful companies that when they started with you were not. Right. Or were okay. Right. And you've taken them to the next level uh, to a large degree by utilizing the power that is Facebook marketing. An incredible opportunities in, that, in those platforms because it's, uh, it's not only the Facebook nice little blue looking app mm -hmm. that we all have come to know and it's like the power of all, everything that they have around the Facebook, Instagram, uh, the WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, their connections with other platforms. Yeah. And it's quite a bit. And I, I But I that's an it. important point, that it's yeah. quite a bit. Because I think that, I don't want to speak for everyone who sells on Amazon, but I'm sure a lot of people, they 
source their product, they get their product, and they're like, okay, well, I know I have to do Amazon PPC. But diving into Facebook, Facebook advertising, I'm sure can be a little bit of a, I don't want to say nightmare, because maybe that's a little bit of a harsh term, but it isn't, it isn't a baby anymore. It's grown into a full-fledged marketing just monster. It's an absolute monster. Yeah. And, and still today, Kurt, it's 2020, as we're talk, recording this right now, it's November, and Facebook has continued to explode. Yeah. And uh, the, the stock also, like Amazon, has continued Just to explode. Can't stop. Uh, I think it's a $300 stock right now. I haven't checked in a few days, but oh my God, right? So people have been waking up to the opportunity. Companies have been waking up to the opportunity of Facebook advertising. But still, let me tell you one fact. It's just getting started. Yeah. Because this evolution is just beginning. Now, to, if we look at the specific numbers of success on social media, they're still very low. Right. We're talking about 95% of brands that invest in social media advertising. Yeah. Will tell you that they fail on sure. social media ads. What I like to explain to them generally is that, look, it's not about, it's not about the, the platform itself. It's about the strategy itself. And that's something that I, we can talk about with these guys today because you gotta have the right strategy. Yeah. Uh, something that I learned uh, from my dad throughout my years of being close to him. Uh, great businessman, very smart guy. He said, look son, uh, when, when uh, an arm is bleeding out, cut it out and keep going. You know, uh, sure. Make sure that you don't let anything bleed you out, right? Uh, it's never about the battle. Mm -hmm. A war is not won with battles. It's won with a strategy. So if something didn't work out, you need to get back to the drawing boards and find a strategy that works and get back to it. Okay. Social media is all about a strategy. There's a strategy for Amazon sellers. For example, for any of you guys that are listening, right, or watching this, if you are investing advertising dollars to get people from Facebook to buy your products full price on Amazon, you're going to waste every single penny of that dollar. You gotta have a strategy. And we can talk about the strategy, but you gotta know what you're doing because if you don't do it correctly, mm -hmm. it's gonna end up being a waste. You're gonna come back to me and you're gonna say, look, I, ain't, I already invested on social media ads right. and it didn't work out. And that's not the route. That's not how you utilize the power of social media to get more positioning on Amazon or to get sales and revenue on Amazon. Okay. So if that shocked you right now and you were already like in the middle of like, <laughs> I'm gonna create a campaign because Manuel says that it's an opportunity for Amazon sellers. That's not the way it works. You gotta know exactly how to go about and what is the strategy for each individual things. Because sure. Curtis, there are different strategies for different things. For example, if you wanna get ranking on Amazon, you're gonna have a strategy in place. Sure. What's yeah. the winning strategy? If you wanna generate reviews, well, you gotta have a strategy. Mm -hmm. They're both important. Different strategies, right? Sometimes they can help each other out. If you wanna generate revenue, then that's another strategy. Sure. If you wanna build social media, e-commerce, Amazon is not the route. From Facebook to Amazon, that's not the route. Well, what you guys gotta do is that you have to create your own e-commerce. And at that point, Facebook will become an opportunity for any of you guys. And I don't think that there's any valid reason to stop you guys from as you're growing your Amazon brands, get some of that capital that you're making and putting it into your own channels. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, even though I love Amazon, you and I both love it to death. Yeah. We think it's a massive opportunity. It's just getting started. There's enormous potential for us to reach millions of people you still don't control that conversation. Mm -hmm. You still have limitations as to what you can do, what you can say, what you cannot say, how do you communicate, how much you communicate. All of that stuff is being controlled by this company that believes that that customer is their client. Mm -hmm. So right. because of that, you still have to focus on, okay, long-term, as I'm building my brand, can I get some of that capital instead of going out to the piña coladas and drinking daiquiris <laughs> at the beach, right? Can I grab some of that capital and yeah. build a brand in my own piece of real estate in which I can control the actual conversation from beginning to end? So then what are some of the basics that someone has to have in to achieve that? Because yeah, you're talking about a strategy. What are some of those essential elements that someone who has a brand is just getting started or they're a veteran, but they don't have that branding element. What are some of the things that they have to have in place? Right. So they, they're already positioned on Amazon or they're just getting started? Let's say, let's say that they're already on Amazon. They're already positioned on Amazon and they're selling all right. 
they're saying, all right, uh, it's, it's not even close to where they want to be. Exactly. Right. So if you're an Amazon seller, right. So you got to understand that if you're just getting started, you're not going to quit your nine to five job. For sure. Right. And that's just the way it is. Uh, uh, you, we, we haven't talked about this part of my story, but you know, Kurt, is that I'm not only, um, I did not only work with Natural Slim. I, my, I began with two businesses, mm -hmm. right? And an, an, a business that I created, I was having a nine to five job and it was a bed sheets business. Yes, that's right. And I can tell you guys all about it because I sold this business that's already, right. all right? So I sold it in 2017 and that led me towards opening up my agency because yeah. You know, I was like, okay, what do I do now? And I opened up a marketing agency, which is AGM Marketing, mm -hmm. which stands for Attention Grabbing Media. But it's a very fitting name. It's a good name, right? <laughs> yeah. Instead of calling him Manuel Suarez Agency, I'm like, let me do something agency more. Of what? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So um, I created this business, and it was it was a beautiful model because I, as soon as I woke up to it, I had a partner, which is still my partner mm -hmm. in my agency. His name is Ernesto. He was uh, working with me in this nine to five job every day, right? And in the in the weekends, he didn't have enough money, so he would take bed sheets consignment. The brand of the bed Got sheet it. was Clara Clark. And a lot of you guys might have heard about this brand because it's been a huge brand for a long time. Mm -hmm. Cheap, affordable bed sheets, imitations of Egyptian cotton sure. stuff, right? It's like, in other words, it's trash bed sheets, right. all right? <laughs> Being sold for $20. now. I don't want to. I don't want to say to anybody that I don't want to insult anybody that's into those sheets. I'm telling you, they're not really high quality. You they're, could get better. You could get better. There's Mar <laughs> Martha Stewart. There's like uh, uh, Melanie, and there's all these Target other brands, brand. right? Target <laughs> brands, etc. That are like more higher end. Sure. Or there's 100% cuttings or 100% bamboos, etc. Yeah. The point is that he would get these bed sheets for consignment, and he would get them for eleven dollars, mm -hmm. and then he would put a um, a, a desk and a banner and he would get himself in the middle of the streets somewhere in the corners in mm -hmm. empty lots in gas stations and he would put these bed sheets up for right. sale and he would sell a lot people would stop and buy his bed sheets and he was doing pretty well with it so as i was learning about amazon and understanding how it works and i was consuming as much content as possible and looking at youtube videos and doing yeah. this training and doing that stuff youtube university whatever I, uh, youtube university right whatever i could find that would give me some data uh, I said, Ernesto, come over here. Um, I got an idea. Why don't you uh, let me have some of those bed sheets and let me see if we can make a market on this. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Instead of doing a private, uh, instead of doing a uh, reselling Claire Clark, I want to do a private label sure. brand. All right, let's do it. All right, because that's the way that it's supposed to be done. Uh, that's Everybody's talking about private label. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. So I went to um, the computer. We created a label and we printed it out and it was called Cozy House Collection. And you guys are gonna find it right now. You're gonna see the powerhouse of the brand that, is, that I built with these two hands, all right? That I built and uh, we launched it. Uh, Cozy, uh, I tried to get Co uh, Z Y. Yeah. It was not available. Uh, so I said, forget about it. We're gonna go to the UK um, spelling of Cozy, C O S Y. Let's go. That's we're, awesome. we're a UK brand, right? <laughs> this Puerto Rican kid, kid right? It's Royal. Kind of, then there we go. Sheets right? anyway. Cozy, Cozy House Collection. <laughs> so we created Cozy House Collection. We printed the labels. We took away the labels from the bed sheet. Yeah. And we stamped ours. And congratulations, you have a private label brand. Right. And then we launched it. And you know what happened, Curtis? Guess what? We started selling. Mm hmm. And we started selling and I sold another one and then another one. And then one day I sell eight and I say 10 and I'm like, oh my God, this is incredible. What's going on? And yeah. then we got another partner involved who's the one that would supply the consignment and then we formed a trio. Mm -hmm. So it, my first business, which was doing $6 million a year in a second year, yeah, in a second year, cost me zero dollars for those of you guys all right that are saying right now yeah but doing an amazon business costs money and you gotta have money for inventory and you gotta have money for this and it takes money to make money i invested zero dollars i was bankrupt you just gotta get freaking creative curtis people say that we're bankrupt i literally declared bankruptcy in 2010 i had nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. all i did was that i figured out platforms, I learned, I observed, I looked around, what can I find, what can I do, how can I leverage things, and I obsessed, and I had a signal. I had an internet signal, and that was enough because I could afford my cell phone at least, That's which was $50 a month, phone. all right? Bad quality signal, but I had it, all right? right? And that was enough for me to watch YouTube videos, and I did that for a while, and, uh, and that was enough, and 
I paid with my intellectual property. Mm -hmm. I paid with like what they say, sweat yeah. equity. And I was able to build this brand, which was very successful. And it became like a powerhouse. Sure. Then from that point on, we made some money, which is why we go back to what I was saying, like what is the route? What are the steps, right? We grabbed some of that money and we built websites mm -hmm. and we built funnels. Sure. And we started working on building lists and I went deep into the social media world, but only after Amazon took off. Sure, okay. So you already had flow coming in and now you're looking at, okay, how do we expand this outside of the normal reach of Amazon? So you gotta focus on taking Amazon off. Okay. Like you gotta make it take off. Once you make Amazon take off, you, you gotta keep on putting your head down mm -hmm. and learning strategy, staying connected with Curtis and listening to the podcast and consuming content and watching videos and training yourself and doing that over and over again and putting down that Netflix show uh, or like that binge watching House of Cards on Netflix or the stupid Game of Thrones or whatever the case may be, whatever you're into. If you have big Here, dreams and goals. Game of Thrones, so you don't have to watch it, they all die in the end. There you go, you there don't you have go. to watch That's it anymore. That's it, that's good. the end of it. Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, right? Not all, but most. <laughs> Curtis, if somebody's watching the show right now, they're gonna be I'd so mad. I'm gonna get hate mail. I Th guarantee they're gonna, I'm gonna be get so hate mad at mail you, man. for that. <laughs> that's like next level ruining, spoiling shows, right? Okay, but so but then, you gotta invest your energy in, in, in making yourself better. Yeah. And, and, and it has to match whatever am, ambitions you have, right? Like right? If you have big goals and dreams, then you gotta make sure that whatever energy you're putting matches that. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cause then here's the thing, we, we covered the, the very important point. You, you made the very important point. You have to have that strategy there, but let's face it. They're not gonna get that strategy from a 30 minute podcast. So, where do you suggest someone goes to really get a good grip on that strategy? I don't, <laughs> hey, check this out. Shameless, shameless branding mention. Don't you have a course that someone <laughs> could do? <laughs> uh, I, I have a coaching program, yeah. uh, Curtis, and the way that I do it is that with COVID, I made it really accessible to people. Uh, because as you know, you know me long enough, you know that yep. I sold a lot of this course. Uh, it's called the Facebook Masters course. And we have it, we use it. Right, so I sold it for $2,000. Uh, during COVID, I, you know, m my focus is on the agency. Yeah. I still do a lot of training and there's several motivations for my training. I, I use my training to keep my staff educated and on the same page as me. Yeah. And I also use it to provide a lot of value. So I have a $97 a month membership right now. Which is unbelievable, yeah. like, okay, just think of it this way. Let's say someone's selling a product for $100 and they've got a 30% profit margin. They literally need to increase their sales by three products, three units a month to justify that course. If you can't do three pro three more units a month by adding Facebook marketing, you're doing something wrong. Get his course, just do it. You gotta invest in yourself. Okay. So the way that I do it is I've been doing this coaching for uh, three years now. Uh, it's a weekly program mm -hmm. and I'm there teaching strategies, social media strategies, me and my team, like aggressively. And we give out funnels and we, we do like actual practical things. Aside from that, I have a program which I recorded, which is 40 hours uh, of content. Right. It's 190 lessons, and that's what they call the Facebook Masters. That's there, and that's part of having access to his membership. So the amount of value, if somebody really wants to get trained, yeah, you it's there. If you really wanna get better, if you wanna make your brand more visible, if you wanna get more positioning for your business, the training and the information is there. I don't care if you pick me or you pick Curtis or you sure. pick anybody, it doesn't matter. You just gotta realize that you gotta do something about it. And until you're not committed to making yourself better, nothing's gonna happen for your brand. It's, it's a combination of factors because sometimes you get people that they're really into learning, mm -hmm. but then they go into implementation paralysis. Sure, and, sure, sure. And nothing gets done. And, and people, you, that's the one thing that I will give you guys, if you have a takeaway right now, if you have one major takeaway from this interview, make sure that you are implementing something every day. Not only learning, I'm not, I don't wanna preach to the choir because right. you guys are here, you're learning, right? If you're here, it's because, uh, also because we've been half an hour to this interview, you're obviously into learning. But your next step is practical implementation of that knowledge. Yeah, so it's not like do 
another lesson in the Facebook mastery course. No, it's take something out of that and actually apply it to your yeah. Facebook account, Facebook advertising, do something. That's my obsession. And yeah. there's so much to do. There's so many things that you can do that, I mean, we can be talking about this for ages, Curtis. Quite it, literally. It yeah, yeah, if you tell me what are your top 1,000 strategies, we can, de <laughs> we can detail them. We can go one by one and just go and do a marathon and we, we're gonna give them so much stuff. Yeah. But you got to go into implementation mode and it's like i said like if you're if you're just starting on amazon or if you have a steady amazon business that's doing well just think about how to get that to a point yeah that you're making enough profit that you can withdraw some of that so you can start investing really yeah. on the path that i've taken with dr eric berg with frank suarez and natural slim with a lot of different brands that we've worked on over the years yeah. that we've taken money out and we've gone to the top of the funnel on social media and we pulled a lot of attention in that now we drive into our own channels. Sure. And you know what's a beautiful thing is, Curtis, is when you do social media advertising and you do it well and you're putting a lot of attention, attention there to, to come into your world, it's incredible like every single time your Amazon stats explode. Sure. When you get content to get seen by people even though you're not bringing them to Amazon, people will still jump to Amazon. Branding is branding. Branding is branding. And also uh, Amazon has done such a good job of mm -hmm. conditioning I people. Uh, I don't know if um, um, a lot of you guys know this, but here's a fact, all right? A fun fact. I'm sure Curtis has talked about this before. I know I, it keeps on getting stronger. From every dollar spent on the internet in the United States, 50 cents of that dollar on Amazon. belongs to Amazon. Oh, it's, it's crazy. I just bought a phone case, a different phone case for this one, but I, I saw an ad. I, I hate, went to I their phone web. Cases, by the way. I, I hate phone cases. I do too, but I have children that are young. I have a one year old. Me too. He would destroy this thing. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me. Um, I, I, I saw their ad, went to their website, was like, oh, that's really cool. Went to Amazon and bought it from them, free shipping. Of course, you want the free shipping. <laughs> no, it's not only sometimes- I don't pay Prime for nothing. That's right. It's not only the free shipping, Kurt, it's that it, sometimes uh, you will have free shipping on your website. Yeah, yeah. And they still would jump to Amazon. And you know what it is? It's confidence. Yeah, it's true. It's trust. That logo has built trust that you won't even in your wildest dreams yeah. be able to build. You know that if you order on Amazon, that thing is going to be in your doorstep. Whenever they say tomorrow, it's going to be, later that day, it's what? magical. It's magical. It's and, true. And because of that, we're a long way from being able to like get close to that. So might as well just leverage as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now um, I know that we only have you for a little bit of time today, but. Um, You've got the Facebook mastery course. Now you have obviously sellers out there who are massive. Maybe they're not yet on Facebook. Should they check out AGM? Should they go, like, I don't know, focus wise, is that something, do you work with brands that are selling on Amazon to 100%. build that? That's kind of the focus, right? 100%. So yeah. where should they go for that? Yeah, we do we do all kinds of things. We will help a brand uh, do better ranking, okay. uh, launch initial products. Uh, we will help them um, build their social media following. I mean, uh, you guys here probably have heard of this little known platform called ManyChat. Uh, you're familiar you're, with it, right? Well, uh, my agency is the number one agency around the world. This is not just you guys, my, yeah. You it, guys are in fact is that. I know that we're gonna do a short little thing for jests. Yeah, we can talk about that. It's not my opinion, all right? I'm mm -hmm. telling you, this is Manny Chat's opinion. We got an award in 2020 called um, the Manny Award, which is the Manny, it's a top performing marketing agency for 2020. So we're a big deal yeah. in that particular world. So that's something that we do. We build the biggest Facebook Messenger channels, the biggest Manny Chat channels in the world were built by us. Wow. This is something that's... that we're, we're really good at. Right, so we, we do this for, for Amazon sellers quite a bit, and, and then we have the, the serious Amazon sellers that are doing big numbers, mm -hmm. and they're, they're really wanting to, you know, stop putting their own fate in the hands of Amazon. Yeah. You know, somebody wakes up in the wrong side of bed, they push a button and you're off, right? Because Amazon doesn't care about your $30 million a year. It's just the way it goes. Believe it or not, they yeah. don't care about it, right? So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a machine that, Acts well, when, when a company handles a uh, expansion problem or like an HR problem by hiring 100,000 people, 
you know that they don't care about your brand. Right. They, they can't afford to. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. So just to end on that, on that subject, uh, AGM agency is a website, agmagency.com. If you guys want to find out more about that, you can find a contact us form there Perfect. and you can see how we can help you. And we'll also throw a description in the description below. We'll throw for your course and then yeah. we'll also throw for the agency. For side. the coaching program, manuelsuarez.com forward slash coaching. Perfect. Uh, manuelsuarez.com forward slash coaching. Okay, yeah. great. Excellent. Well, okay. So this is the way this is going to go. This is the way it's going to go from here on out for all of our uh, guests that we have on the podcast. We're going to be giving you a, a chunk that's available to everyone, regardless of if you're a managed by stats user or not. The last little bit where we're going to dive into the nitty gritty, how to actually do it like a pro. Unfortunately for everyone who's not a managed by stats user, that part is uh, is just for our guys. So um, if you are a user though, you'll find that part on our private Facebook user group. Um, if you're, we're gonna send it out with the email so you can jump in there if you haven't already done that. But otherwise for anyone who's seeing this on YouTube, seeing this on, uh, listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, thank you very much for coming in. Absolutely, a pleasure to be here, Curtis. Yeah, make sure, do it again. we will definitely do it again. Uh, make sure you, you know, rate it five stars like it on YouTube, do all that stuff. Do an unbiased five star, please. No, unbiased no, 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 no. Star. For, for <laughs> Apple, we don't need to be unbiased. I want a biased five star. If you can hack the system and give us six stars, do it. Until Apple changes the rule for the time being, yes. Until Go then. ahead and give it a bias. <laughs> awesome, well, thank you so much. Uh, good for everyone else. Take care.